This ticket is valid for the following destination. Hmm. Okay. I have a golden ticket. Let's see where I can go. Good morning, Minecraft. Train station. This is a beautiful train station. There's got to be a conductor in here somewhere. Just get a... Uh... Oh, look. There's a little cafe. No, no, no. No time for food. No snacks. No snacks. Athena, I said no snacks. Get off my desk. Tickets. Oh, oh, tickets. This is where I got to go. Ring bell for service. Ah, I broke the bell. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, no. She broke the bell. Do you want to start over? <laughs> I totally love clicked it. Yeah, you might want to put your bell oh, back. Hey, Look hey. how beautiful this place is. Let me get the bell. <laughs> bell. Bell. Right click the bell, honey. Yay. Yay. That's a better sound of breaking. Okay, I'll be right back. No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. You're okay, okay. Uh, hello, can I help you? <laughs> Welcome to the Terra Firma Punk train tour services. How can I help you today? <laughs> I'm sorry about the dent that I put in your bell. I'm so glad that it was just it's, it's knocked only, on the floor and not gone. <laughs> it's only wrought iron, no big deal. Only wrought iron. Well, I have a golden ticket that I was given, and okay. I would like to know where I can go. Okay, this is the uh, Terra Firma Punk train tour services. Welcome, and uh, I'll take your ticket, and we can get the tour started. Thank you. One Sorry, ticket Bill. stuffed in my pocket. Oh, you busted I it, it again! again. <laughs> I just knocked it down. I just, I'm sure you'll find it over the edge. <laughs> no, it's it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's totally gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> Now, you have my you, credit card information. You can charge me later. <laughs> the uh, one, one of the last customers left a uh, a hat behind on the table. If you would like to, uh, oh, partake. I didn't break your table. Good. Good. Just oh. Remember. Oh, I love the top hat. Remember, right click everything. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this this show on the road. By the way, I, I do have another bell back here, just in case. Oh, 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 good. Okay. Uh, apparently, those things. Hey, can I poke around your shelves? Yeah. I mean, I mean, sorry, free. sorry. I just look at this typewriter. This is an amazing typewriter. Oh wow! And the clock with the moving bits. Moving bits. I, I, I so want to save my game with this typewriter. <laughs> Okay, okay, I've, I've looked around. You have a lovely facility. Uh, fa fa facility. Thank you very <laughs> much. All right, well, if you will choose a seat, I will get the train started. Okay. I'm in. Yay. Hi, Piggy. Looks like Pigville's coming for the ride. Yeah, I can't wait for this tour. Let me get the train started here. Warmed up. Should take a few minutes to get the the boiler because it's been sitting cold for a while. Okay, so it's got to get so revved up. Get look at up. oh, your chairs look very comfortable. Oh, they are. You you want to try one out? Yeah, if it's gonna whoa. Oh crap! I mean, Mr. Conductor. Okay, don't go. leave without me. I'll, I'll I'll try not to. Oh wow! Those are nice chairs. These are fabulous chairs. They look good, and they're cushy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I also uh, want to take a second and, 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 uh, oh, oh. shut, shut, shut uh, the barn oh, doors. No, 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 I'm in. <laughs> ah, go. I got the train, I got the train. You made it. <laughs> okay, well, that was exciting. <laughs> okay. So, welcome to the world of Terra Firma Punk. We're currently riding through a wilderness area that once used to contain a vast and sprawling city. But for some unforeseen reasons, the, the people are no longer here and the city has gone back to uh, the wilderness. So right, you so may find man. some ruins along the way. Okay. And I believe here on the left is one of the rare uh, crows. Was here a minute ago. 
I was just making sure my left was my left. I'm like, wait a minute. No, I did look at my left. There's a chicken over there. There's a chicken. I don't see the crow that was here yesterday. Maybe he flew away. Oh, the little lambs. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a, uh, there's a rooster. There's a rooster over there. Now, we're coming up here on uh, a newly excavated mine tunnel. So, watch your head. Whoa. Oh, oh. Okay, that's awesome. And off to your right, you should see some of our local uh, train and mine workers. It looks like they're oh. out on lunch or something. I was going to say lunch break, but you could see, oh, you could see the gears turning in there. So they've definitely filled up the machines. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh. Looks like somebody's got a giant leaf block fight going on back there. Okay. And I'm not sure what strange creatures are in this world. Something. Well, I don't really know what that is, honestly. Hello. Uh. Okay. We've got leaf fights and and pig ex exhibits. Okay. <laughs> and to the also to the left is oh a decommissioned submarine. Called the Nautilus. Nautilus, okay. That's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we slipped right over the ravine there, which is kind of here too. So lots of lots of interesting countryside. And oh, I see something in the far distance. Ahead of us is our first ruin. It's an old, rundown house of some kind. Ages gone by. Oh, look at that. There's... Oh, there's badness in there. Yeah, some evil creatures tend to set up their homes in Wilderness these. Wilderness uh, is taking over, yeah. In these ruins. You kind of have to be careful as we go by. Um, and I do want to warn you if there's any hobos along the tracks, they will automatically jump into any open seats. So we kind of oh! have to be careful. So they'll jump for the train like I did. <laughs> I'm really trying not to be judgmental of Pigville behind me, but you know, okay. Pigville. Well, yeah, there's Piggy Wiggy behind me. Okay, here's our first stop. Let me jump out and see if I can stop this train before it uh, yeah, gets yeah, too far. Yeah, I'm afraid to get out. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid. All right. Uh, okay. Here we go. You're good, Mr. Conductor. Hello, honey. Welcome to Terra Firma Punk. Oh my goodness, this is so fabulous. I, I totally apologize for breaking of the bell. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about the bell. Like I said, I had a spare. Twice. I had a spare. Twice. Okay, so obviously, um, there's, there's, this, this ain't your regular little Minecraft. This ain't your regular little Terra Firma craft either. No. This is, this as is you different. Can as you can tell, there, this is Terra Firma craft. We have the barrels. We right. have all your regular Terra Firma craft. And then uh. we have some lamps. And a choo-choo train. Yeah, I saw the lamps. Obviously, the beautiful, uh, you, you've got the ability to sit down in the chair, so you have that mod. And uh, the beautiful uh, uh, working parts, the, the gears that are turning and the and the clock that's going. Oh, yeah, this I, this I is abandoned. That was a really amazing mod. And am, all am of the I abandoned okay ruins to step in here? Uh -huh. were uh, built by me and some of the other guys on the E-Cubed server. And there's a mod that just randomly generates them all over the map. Oh, wow. So you pre-build them, you stick them in a folder, and when a, when a new map generates, these pop up all over the place. Okay. So now this is your your creation. You've taken Terra Firma Craft, which mm -hmm. is a, a, a total reworking of Minecraft, oh, at, yeah. you know, a mod, a, a complete mod that just takes everything and makes it different, a little bit more difficult. Of course, uh, I'm familiar with that from the Terraforma Cracks, the three Terraforma Crack <laughs> seasons I've done. In fact, um, the reason, you and Pack are the reason I actually started playing Terraforma Craft two years ago. Yeah, you know, we talked about that because you and I have been friends for a long time. And it's like, oh, this is, looks kind of interesting. And you really enjoyed it and got into Terraforma Craft. And it's it's evolved. And, you know, I know you're there on Tuesdays when we do the long TFC Tuesdays. And uh, it's really interesting that you've taken this uh, really unique mod and then put a total twist with adding the steampunk. Now, what 
I, I'm, I'm sure we're just going to find out as we go through the tour, you know, what all makes, you know, what, what all you've, you've added. Uh, just in general, though, your, what was your concept for, for wanting to add, choose a steampunk theme in particular to add to Terra Firma crack, hmm. Craft? Um, well, until, until the 1710 release, uh, most of this was not even possible. Um, Biox finally added some some functionality into Terraforma Craft itself that allows um, Terraforma Craft to work with other um, mods, specifically tech type mods. Um, right. It actually connects with the org dictionary. So prior to that, uh, it didn't have org dictionary support, so you couldn't add anything okay. other than. Um, Say client side, like the map that we've we've, like we've map tied you into it. Using. And if you look on if you look on top of or look at blocks, you'll see its its name appear. Right. That's from Walla or Walla. Yeah, the, the yeah Wayla Walla. And then right. You could add, what am you I could looking add, at? Um, shaders and other other just um, WYSIWYG what you see stuff. Client, right now, the interesting side. thing oh. is, I know from my experience with Terra from a crack that there are a lot of people that play uh, with shaders and with some of those different things. And mm -hmm. Terra from a craft is already an amazing generating um, mod. I mean, the, the generations are phenomenal. I know, like Dragate just loves to go on walkabouts and just explore the beautiful, <laughs> you know, the beautiful lands. And uh, there are some of the best ravines and caves I've ever seen generated. Uh, within Terraforma Craft. So you've kind of taken that, the beautiful factors of that, and dovetailed it in with steampunk things. And one of the things that I'm most excited about seeing is some of the downside, some, well, well, downside to some people, um, some of the things that make Terraforma Craft unique is the difficulty factor, is the the, the steps. Um, I mean, there's really no dancing around it. Flat out, it is harder, okay? Oh, yeah. It is harder. You have to do every step of the way. You have to, you know, pick up your sticks from the ground, and you have to do. Ooh, I so, see a bad guy. You have to do so all of your as things. As opposed to, um, say, right now, uh, a lot of my friends are playing Mod Sauce, <clears throat> and the Mod Sauce pack is a heavy tech uh, with some other stuff thrown into it, and it's very easy to reach uh, high tiers quickly. Like within right. a few days, you can get you can you can maximize your your tiers in certain which is mods. completely opposite of what Terra Firma now crafts. Now this one has tech mods in it. It has you saw the gears, and then it's got uh, the train and stuff. Now I've had a server, a survival server set up for almost three months now, two or three months, and none of the guys have even gotten to the 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 gears mod yet which is the, the first tech level. Oh. So we've been at it for three months, and nobody has really gotten to that level of tech yet. <laughs> um, okay. They're taking it kind of slow, but so... Right, well, that's kind of what we've, really we've done this season haul. with... Yeah, and that's that's just Terra Firma craft. It's a long haul sort of a mod. It's you know it's meant to go slowly, you know, work your way up. But there's a huge satisfaction factor... Versus just oh hey I found diamonds <laughs> everything's good now you know yep. with this one it's like yes and, and we've the, gotten it that's that's the thing that I wanted to really to to add is some more of that satisfaction because when I played it back in the summer as a survival we were playing the the one six two or one six four version and I got to steal really quickly like within two right. weeks I had I had steel. And then I spent another two weeks looking for nickel. <laughs> right, because that becomes the focus. You know, that, that becomes the focus. once I got nickel, it was like, what do I do now? So right. for me, Terraforma Craft lasted a month. And then that okay. was it. I got bored. So what I really wanted to add to this pack was a, a more of that adventure sense. So you can go out, you can explore... You can look for these ruins, and there's even special, unique monsters that you can fight. Um, I don't know how well you saw how well you saw it on the little train trip, but there's a, a giant snake called a naga. He's a, he's a boss that actually requires 
three or four players to fight. A group to do. Right. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> similar there's... to other mod packs that have really done the different mobs and, and really made yeah. sort of levels to the mobs and not just, yeah, everything is is fairly similar. You know, you can kill a skeleton from the beginning. Now, Terra Firmacraft has already changed that. You know, you can't just and I've added go in there and, quite you know, check North other, a skeleton to death from the beginning. Quite a okay. few other guys. If you look over to the left past the train track, you might see a skeleton with a top hat before he disappears. Oh! So there's there's mobs wearing steampunk armor and tools. Which is rather appropriate for, you know, if it's a skeleton, you know, if it's, you know, if it's a mob and they're picking up things around or, or whatever, mm -hmm. or a, a past, you know, a skeleton of, of someone seized. That's good. So time is passing fairly quickly and I wanted to get through the contents of this building yeah let's take a look quickly. so in this chest here you have uh two books i saw that i didn't touch them but i saw them there's so the atlas ahead, and there's the quest book go ahead and grab uh here I'll, I'll lay one out for you go ahead and grab the quest book and the atlas to start with okay and let's go ahead and open up the atlas can I take um, some torches just to... Oh, have yeah, a... you can take everything in there, but I was going to do it slow, kind of slowly. Okay, okay, you're fine. I'll wait. So, so opening up the quest oh, book. Atlas. Atlas. Whoa, whoa, unique atlas number one. And instead of having the mini map up in the corner, we have this oh. old archaic black and white map. Oh. Called Antique Atlas. And this is how you'll see where where we're at. Mm -hmm. Instead of being the full color little bubble in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that I would actually, be unique. Uh, this is unique. I like how uh, how you can manipulate it within this, and to see it's always kind of frustrating with it with a little handheld map. You just get yeah, you know one vanilla, little. The vanilla map is kind the of. The vanilla map is not the greatest. Okay, add marker. And you can actually add markers. I saw that. Okay. We'll call this one first stop. Basics. Well, uh, right where I'm at. There we go. And it makes a little X. Okay, with the quest book or with the atlas out of the way, let's open the quest book. All right. Um, there's <clears throat> on, on the right hand side. I need to write a a story, but I'll get to that some someday. Right. Well, this is really this is early on. I mean, I know you've been you've been working on the pack for some time, but you know this is kind of like a Since first look at it. And beginning of October, it was right before you guys started the, this season of uh, Terra Firma. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, yeah. So welcome to the Terra Firma Punk quest log. I actually really love that Terra Firma Punk. Okay, so you're incorporating in the quest system. Uh, that it's just like you know, got the hardcore mode. So okay. you only have five deaths. Like Ooh, you do in Agrarian do... Skies. Okay, and are you going to be giving hearts for your lives for rewards? rewards? Yep. Uh, the mobs currently don't drop them. There's, reputation? There's some, yeah, repu uh, reputation is going to be a big factor this pack, or these, this quest book. But go ahead and skip on through to the, the, the quest list. I believe okay, you have show to quests. click here to show quests. Yep. And there should be 12 of them. And I have to toggle the weather again. Uh, so let's start with the Stone Age. Scene 12, yes. Okay. You'll have five quests open? Yes. Um, let's just look at Sticks and Stones for now. All right. And Aha, why well, you wanted me to wait. <laughs> pick up 10 sticks and pick up 10 rocks. Right. So... Go ahead and come over here to your chest and grab a stack of sticks and a stack of rocks. Right. And then you can open up okay. your quest book again. It's and done. it should show that complete. Right. I need to get myself some sticks too. Well, it shows it complete, and then I have to pick one of these rocks to claim my reward. Mm -hmm. Done. I love that sound. Okay. And then you'll back out, and you'll see that a right. whole bunch of other quests have opened Everything up. Everything has opened. Not, so you're really giving them all the rewards for all the different stages. Actually, this is not all the quests on this page. Okay. The reason that there are so many quests available is because Biox has set it up so each stone type 
has its own stone tool. Right. Right. And I can't program the quest book. It, it's just difficult to, to program. So it the depends quest book on the area recognize. that you're in. Yeah. So you'll notice if you look at the other rock quests, uh, there's a little brief explanation of what each rock type is. Right. And how it's formed and stuff like that. Um, these are not required. This is just kind of an info, like a little wiki, to explain what the different rocks are. Right. So if you're in an area that's got a lot of the dacite uh, or a lot of the, uh, the the basalt, one of my favorites, uh, then, you know, you can do that quest line that's going to have, you know, focus on, on those types of tools. And as you explore, tool. you can come back and, and finish the other quests. Right. Get bonus things, etc. Okay. And so that's get, the Stone Age. Yeah. The bonus things you get is mostly reputation. The more reputation you have, the more quests become available. That's exactly what I was about to ask you. And the, and one of the reasons I'm assuming is that's going to increase your reputation for I've fully, you know, explored and done the pack, etc. Okay. Yep. You, you can get 100% completion by coming back and clump. Some quests are only available within a certain reputation range. So you have oh. to get them right then there. Otherwise, they may disappear. So that also encourages you to uh, do things at appropriate stages. Yep. And not just... Um, Skip. Skip ahead. Skip, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. And Skipping now you... ahead is very possible. It's just you might lose some things along the way. So go ahead and grab okay. all the tools on the rack. There okay. should be two sets, one for you and one for me. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to complete the quest as, as, as we go along. So I can kind of keep up. Uh, I lost a shovel. I gotta move my stuff out of the way so I can. Uh. <laughs> All right, so, so I've got a sword, up. a shovel, an axe, uh, the hoe, the javelin. Did you get a second shovel? Hammer. No, I only have one shovel. Okay. Uh, there's a shovel on the on the thing still, darling, on the top. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so we have all of those. Yeah. Go ahead and complete all of those. Okay. And we will try and we're gonna try and finish up this page as kind of quickly as we can. Right, because you've kind of preset this up, claim the reward. Do, 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 do. I love that sound. Oh, pick one. Onion seeds, you know I gotta pick onion seeds. <laughs> you knew you saw that coming. Right? right. Wooden button reward. Nice. Yeah. So you get you get basically all your basics and a few uh, Ooh, gifts. Blueberry bushes. Onions and blueberries. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I, I've done all of those. And I do see how it opened up more branches. The monster under the butcher. No need for matches. Little gray, little gray balls. I almost said little gray cells <laughs> automatically. Then I saw that you said balls. Nice. Thank you. And then there's a lot. I have a no idea a... how that influenced you there's a, a, a fire starter in the box you can grab that claim a quest nice. it gets okay, you so another fire starter <laughs> okay which is not a bad thing which is not a bad thing so we've got the fire starter so what all do you have unlocked now could you pass me a torch Oh, oh yes, I can definitely pass you a torch. Uh, Just a single torch. There, there go. you go. Uh, I have torch. opened up. I'm, I'm doing the torch one now. Okay, you can just stack. Okay, uh, I've got a festive spirit, light the way, you know, the little gray balls. I, I've got, I'm, I have two on the right page. I've opened up uh, two on the right page. Okay. Um, let's grab a, how much wood did it need? Uh... 20 logs. So, okay. if you haven't already, come over here and grab 20 logs. I haven't. I've, I've kept my hands to myself. Well, apparently it, it already unlocked it for me, so... Okay, so... Yeah, this is a quest? Yeah. Aha! There's the logs. There's the logs. Okay. There's the logs. Claim the reward. Uh, we might be able to pick up a pumpkin along the way at some point, but I didn't okay. put one in the chest. That's fine. All right. I do love, of course, Terra Firma Craft. One of the uh, additions that I absolutely adore is the, the, the ingots right here. 
the ingots. Oh, definitely. Just that you can stack them. It just looks so badass. Okay, now. So next, oops, that's the wrong book. Next, uh, we want to grab our clay and our thatch. Okay. Clay and the thatch. And go ahead and pick up some of these things or just start with that? Um, You can pick up this, everything if you oh, want. Oh, look at that. Water carrier, vessels oh, of Oh, golden rods. <laughs> Um, see, the reason I put the golden rods ah. as part of the quest is so that people would learn to recognize, hey, golden rods go with clay. Go with clay. We don't have golden rods. Uh, I didn't put any in the, in the thing. All right. Okay, so. so I need to go ahead and pick up other stuff so I can keep turning in some other quests. Dun, dun, All right, here you go. Dun. Grab a stack of golden rods. Dun. Grab a stack of... Oh, where are they? It should be in your inventory. My inventory is a little bit full from all these bits. Uh, okay. Let's throw stuff in the chest. I'm throwing stuff in the chest. <laughs> and I keep having ghost stuff disappear uh, appear on me. Okay. I've ditched some stuff. So golden there should rods. be some golden rods in your inventory. They're still not, sweetheart. <laughs> What? I just tossed a stack. Alright, let me grab another stack. This one. Claim that reward. There you go. Okay, there we go. Claim reward. <laughs> let me do that one. So we gotta get the... Now there's two ghosty piles of golden rods. <laughs> now there's two ghosty piles. Hey. That's okay. So the... Uh, wrong chest. So we wanna get my... I do have my clay pot in my... Hmm. Okay. It doesn't... Oh, oh, we need two. 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 Aha. <clears throat> Does the quest require two? Yep. It required two ceramic vessels and... Uh, I wasn't sure. Yep. So I'm like, I got one of each. Why are you not letting me do you? <laughs> yeah, you're also two of each. So let's get a couple of the jugs. And that should do it. Now, perfect. It didn't show the one of two. I was kind of surprised on the jugs. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, the the bowls. Uh, uh, I have four and four. Did I already get my bowl reward? Possibly. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I was trying to go ahead. But sure. So we've got all of those except Festive Spirit. So all, all of a sudden, there are one, two, three, four, five things on the right page with all of the connecting... Backs in the fourth and the um, yeah, showing all that. That's fabulous. Oh, we're going to need one bowl eventually. Okay. And we're going to have to probably switch into... Uh, well, I you know assume what? I'm going to need some of Let these molds. Just... Let me just grab it. Uh, the gold pan. There you go. There's a gold pan. Okay. So you should have all of the first page, or most of the first page opened. And right. if you back out, you'll notice that chapter two should have a 2% complete. I've got 4% complete. I might have clicked something. Nope, you're good. So go into okay. the second chapter. Uh, we all can right. leave the first chapter behind. We want to try and get through the second chapter before the sun sets and that'll okay. be 30 minutes. So prospecting for the 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 future, I can do that. Got your bowl. Right. Can I go ahead and turn that in or do you want to hold yeah, that for Okay. We want to try and get through chapter 2 as quickly as we can. Looks like we only got a minute or two left. Moldy ingots. Peach trees. Want to shake your tree. All the shiny things. Oh, I need Okay, I don't have the the nuggets. So what are we? What is it we're going to be needing on this one? Uh, all the different molds. Okay, so let's get our molds. Oh, um, we need ten of those. Of the of the nuggets, yeah, I saw that. So they're going to be in this other chest. Okay. Put them back in there for you. There you go. I am claiming rewards like a mad woman. 
Okay, so we've opened up all the crude but effective. Are we there yet? Best for thumbs, and you can shave with it. <laughs> yep. Don't have all the shiny things, but you said that's going to be... In the third in chest. This one, right. And then could you toss me the molds? Does help if I'm not... There we go. See, it does help if I'm not... Um... Yeah, I'll put the molds in this chest. There you go. I'll need those two. So we've got the all the sh shiny things. Holds a charge. Nice. We've got the copper ingot. And now we can get all the other. Uh, okay, I have to grab my copper bits, which are all right here. Musical. I know, right? Try to quickly toss aside the things I may not need. All right, I can't put you down there. Okay. How many ingots did it want? Shiny. I'm not getting rid of my shiny. Suck just, it. Just one ingot. That's cool. Okay. So we need to get our tools off the rack. Yep. Grab your tools. And put some stone ones back doing? on. We're not to the bronze age yet, but uh, once should be if you grab everything, you should be able to lo unlock your way to the, oh. the bronze age. Okay. Let me move some things out of my way so I can get a few more. Yeah, there should be enough chest space for all the rewards. Yeah, I know how your inventory is on uh, TFC Tuesday, so I can just imagine how <laughs> filled up you're getting. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to claim our rewards, rip through our Bronze Age stuff. And it's like most of the rewards that you're giving are are really um, things that you, everyday things that you would be using anyway. They should be, they should be uh, at least relevant to the chapter that you're in. Okay, I didn't get my chisel, so I need to grab my chisel. So, like, the sticks and stones quest gives you more right. sticks. Um, right. The thatch quest gives you more thatch. The... Okay. And pick my reward, claim my reward. All right, so now it's got the smooth operator, the flux capacity, all the different metals. Okay. Which you gave me the bronze things. So the sun has set once again, and I'm guessing it's been about 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. So let's go ahead and wrap up this episode, and we'll pick it up Not a problem. in the next one. All right, so this is really great. We've got a, a good introduction to what Terraforma Punk is. We've mm -hmm. got you show some of the different quests and how they're laid out, how they're a little bit different than what you would see in uh, in some of the other ones because you've actually gone through and 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 done this quest log and really try to make it appropriate and bring you into all the different ages with the Terraforma Punk side of things, uh, the steampunk side of things. I love that so thank you for this first introduction i hope you guys really enjoy this stick around because we're going to do a whole bunch of parts as we go through a tour <laughs> of terra firma punk there should be hopefully six parts there you go bye mr one wolf bye -bye. <laughs> mr one wolf everybody bye, <laughs> bye. i'm stuck <laughs> of course you are okay good okay. night we'll see you later